250 years since the birth of Sir Walter Scott. Here's six facts about him and his life. He contracted polio as a child, lost the full use of his right leg and had a limp for the rest of his life. He was sent to the Scottish borders to recover and his lifelong love for the stories and the scenery of the area was born. He would eventually build his home Abbotsford in the borders and he's buried at Driver Abbey. He was originally a poet, publishing five long narrative poems, four short independently published poems, and many small metrical pieces, but got discouraged after Lord Byron started publishing his poems. Scott thought that Byron was a better poet, so he started writing novels instead. Like Shakespeare, many words and phrases can be accredited to Scott. Glamour, Book Bosomed, and The Wars of the Roses were all coined by Scott. He even put some nobility to Robin Hood, referring to him as Robin of Loxley for the first time. His image is on the Bank of Scotland's notes as tribute to ensuring Scottish banks could continue to print their own notes after they were nearly prevented from doing so in the 1820s by the government. However, his own finances weren't so lucky. He was the sole financial backer of the publishing company of John Ballantyne & Co, which got into trouble after a banking crisis. He had many wealthy friends, including King George IV, but refused to help and became responsible for paying off a debt of £130,000, mostly by writing 27 novels in a space of about 15 years. He only paid off his debt after passing away in 1832. He found the Scottish Crown Jewels at Edinburgh Castle in 1818, spurred on by the Prince Regent, later King George IV. The Crown Jewels have been missing since the interregnum period of 1651 to 1660 and thought lost. Scott found them, after some research, stored in a strong box in the Crown Room of Edinburgh Castle and they've been on display in the castle ever since. He's had multiple places and monuments named after him. The main train station in Edinburgh is named after his Waverley novel series, which in turn is only a few hundred metres from the tallest monument of a writer in the world, the Scott Monument. There was even a viewpoint named after him in the Scottish borders called Scott's View. Thank you everybody for watching this Six Facts video. If you like this video, don't forget to like it and share it with the hashtag Teamstructor and also hit that subscribe button so you know when a new video comes out.